Hey guys, we're here from Windows Edge today and we're going to show you a quick way to fix that unwanted other space that Microsoft has uh, has promised to fix, but I know a lot of you have been noticing on your uh, Windows Phone 8 devices that you get up to 3, 4, 4.5 gigs of, uh, of other space when in reality there's just not that much content on your phone taking that up. And so we actually did find a, a really handy app to help you fix that. And just to kind of show you, I mean, we we had up to four. Uh, we actually posted a picture uh, on our blog a couple weeks ago showing that. But uh, now we actually have our other space down to 126. When about 1 1.2 of that is Spotify music. So we know that's about where it should be. So, I mean, now we have almost three gigs of our phone space empty as opposed to less than 500 megabytes that we had before we cleared this. And so I'm going to show you guys a... Uh, this app and how you get it. So you, you go up here to the Windows Phone Store, search, and you're gonna search shrink storage. Found it right here. This is the app. You click on that. Now obviously you're gonna have the install here. You know, jump over, and we'll show you guys that right here under S. Shrink storage. And so you're going to click this button right here, Fill Phone Storage, and that's essentially just going to fill all of the extra empty space on your phone so that it can then clean all of that out and essentially wipe all of that useless other space out besides what you already have and you need in there. And so essentially, even though we've already done it, we're just going to kind of walk you guys through it. You're going to click Fill Phone Storage, and it's going to take, it, it, it can take up to a couple minutes, but as long as this progress bar is going, you know that it's going to uh, to keep going and so the message that is going to come up is going to be one that says your phone has reached its capacity and then you're gonna exit out of that message and then you're gonna restart your phone and then you're gonna immediately open back up this app once it restarts and you're gonna click clean phone storage and so we will be back when our phone finishes doing that so that we can show you guys the walkthrough of the rest of that. Alright guys, so now as you can see, we've hit the uh, low phone space part of this. So you hit close, and then it's going to pull you back here, and so you're prompted to reset your phone. So we're going to turn it off. And then, of course, don't forget when we turn it back on, we are going to open straight up to that app to uh, to hit the clean so that that space is opened up because otherwise all of that would have been for waste. So I'm just going to kind of set that down and let it start back up. And we will catch you guys when this phone gets started back up. Alright guys, so here we are, phone started back up, we got the uh, low space warning, again, it's good that it told us that, because it's not like it just did, so we're going to jump back over here, and reopen up our uh, shrink storage app, we're going to click clean phone storage, and bada bing, bada boom, it says that it's released that, so we're going to go up here and check under, under that, phone storage, I'm going to refresh up to how much space we have free. And there you go. You can see all that different space that it's freed up for you. And it actually did a, a freed up a little bit more than we had had before. But, I mean, that's, that's awesome. I mean, it's given us more space to do what we want with our phone, and that's to use all the space we can, especially on phones with, like, the 8X that... Uh, only have that 16 gigs with no expandable storage. So I hope you guys have liked this. We will leave a link in the description for you guys to go straight to this app, and you can pick it up to support the developer, even though it is a free app. But, I mean, it's just great for them to get those downloads. And so we hope you guys will check it out and keep an eye out for more coming to you from Windows Edge. Thanks, guys.